What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Danny Flores. Wow. Today we have an interesting, interesting video. If you guys don't know what I'm about, I talk whatever I want on the internet, whatever is popping on the internet. And recently, what's been popping is this whole Daisy Marquez situation. If you guys don't know, Daisy Marquez is an influencer that came out and told her fans, yo, I have sickle cell. And then six years later, she came out again and said, yo, I made that up. I just didn't want to get backlash because I really got a BBL. And then BBLs were taboo back in the day. A lot of stuff, guys. And like I said, I've been covering the whole situation. If you guys missed some videos, you know, go down, scroll down for some context. In those videos, I told you guys, you know, she made a whole video saying uh, she had sickle cell and she's been MIA. And well, a lot of people couldn't find that video until now. Your boy found the video and I said, you know what? Why not react to it with you guys here? I've never seen this in the past. Like, I, I think it came out in 2018. And I was like, yo, I got to find this. I've never seen it. So here we go, guys. Before we get started, go grab your snacks, come back, sit back and relax. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously from the title of the video, you're probably like a little bit confused. Like, what does she have to tell us? But I am just here to tell you guys what has been going on in my life for the past two weeks. Um, a lot of you guys noticed that I was being a little bit MIA on social media. I was still uploading and stuff, but I just wasn't being active. I wasn't like tweeting like I always do or Snapchatting and all that stuff. So I just wanted to let you guys know what has been going tell on. Tell us, tell us. So I'm us. just gonna go straight into the story. So pretty much what happened was that in the beginning of the year, obviously it's still the beginning of the year, but in the beginning of January, I went for my physical checkup and they took out some blood work and they were like, oh, are you anemic? And I was like, yes, I was like, I'm anemic. I was like, I've already been knowing this. I was like, because of my iron it, level is low. And they were like, oh no, you're not anemic because of your iron level. They were like, your hemoglobin level is low. So right after my appointment, I told my mom what happened and then she flew down here, which a lot of you guys were like, why is Daisy's mom there? Why isn't she showing her off on Snap, how I usually do? And my mom was really concerned. So obviously her as a parent, she just came down here to be there for support and just to see what's going on. So then whenever we went back for the checkup appointment, that's where they explained everything to me. So pretty much what sickle cell anemia is, um, everybody has red blood cells and they are circles. However, if you have- Wait, wait, wait. So she got diagnosed? According to her back then, she was diagnosed with sickle cell. Okay, but she's going to she's gonna tell us a rundown. Sickle cell anemia, your red blood cells are like little crescent moons. So that makes it really easy for them to pile up and clog up. And red blood cells contain protein, which is hemoglobin. And when the hemoglobin doesn't get to a specific area of your body, then obviously it affects it. <laughs> So with my um, red blood cells being little crescents and then them. Bro, the fact that she did her research for this big ass lie is baffling, bro. What the heck? Like who has time to come out with this long story about how she got sickle cell or how she was diagnosed with sickle cell instead of just telling her fans like, yo, I got a BBL. Listen, that's shorter than going out with this whole lie, dog. Like what? <laughs> clogging up that specific area it it prevents from the oxygen to go through my body so that's where that came from because they were like your hemoglobin levels are really low you're not getting enough oxygen throughout your body and it, it explained a lot the doctor explained to me that there are two kinds of sickle cell anemia that there is sickle cell disease and sickle cell trait the difference being is that sickle cell disease is deadly which when he was telling me this, I was like, oh my God, do I have sickle cell disease? And I st all these things started going through my head and I started overthinking. And pretty much sickle cell disease is like, where it's like 100% like full on sickle cell anemia. And whenever it's just like full on sickle cell anemia, where it comes with like all the symptoms and the chronic pain. And by chronic pain is you get really bad joint pain. And I will link some videos down below where you can see not the linking videos down below on a disease you don't even have what <laughs> no seas mamona eh? no seas mamona See, like i saw the one that affected me the most is when i saw this video this little boy and he was just like oh like in agony just like just like touching himself or he had pain and he wasn't able to control it and it lasted to like three five hours i saw a lot of different videos about it bro the fact that you saw or you're talking about a video you saw about a little boy that actually has sickle cell. Bro, oh my God, this is just bad. Bad, bad, bad in every single way. Wow, and you're lying about this. 
Listen, a lot of people are not going to understand how bad sickle cell is. Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, what if she came out and said she had cancer? Yeah, everyone's everyone is going to know how bad that is because cancer, everyone knows what cancer is, right? But no, not everyone knows what sickle cell is. So that's, this is just all bad in so many levels. And then sickle cell trait is like, how should I say it? Like sickle cell disease is like 100% sickle cell anemia and sickle cell trait is like 50% should I say. So sickle cell trait is more like you just get the symptoms. So the symptoms are like dizziness, fatigue, weakness, chest pain, muscle pain, which explains so much because ever since I was little, my hands and feet would swell up and that was because I wasn't getting oxygen flow to my hands and feet because God. of sickle cell anemia. And I just never went to the doctor. You never had it? All right, sorry, I just had a, <sighs> I'm pissed specifically for my anemia how i found out that i was anemic was because i tried uh, donating blood at the blood drive and they were like oh you can't your iron levels are low my mom was like yeah she's like your iron levels are low it's because you're anemic you don't eat right you're not eating your free colas and all this other stuff right so i tried for three years to donate and every single time they were like no 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 but that's a dang that's a damn lie too you did not try to donate listen at this point everything that comes out your mouth i feel like is a lie no, you're the boy that cried wolf, the girl that cried wolf, okay? My iron levels kept getting lower and lower and lower, and then they were like, you need to go get yourself checked out. And I never got myself checked out until my physical check here in California. That's when everything happened. Um, It explains it to like when I stand <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She actually got diagnosed. She got diagnosed with it. Damn, blaming the doctors as well. <laughs> I get really dizzy. There's times where I just stand up and then I like faint. And another reason being is because I don't drink a lot of water. So he was like, that affects you a lot. He's like, your red blood cells are really dehydrated. Um, the muscle pains, I would randomly just be laying down. I would get muscle pain and I'd be like, what's wrong? And I would like punch myself, trying to take the pain away. Um, I'm always dizzy and I'm always tired. I, I was always like, why am I always so tired? Like, I know I'm not lazy. Like, I know I procrastinate, but I was like, I just felt so sluggish. Like, like you had a I had disease. no energy. Come like, on. and I would, and the worst part about it was like, I would be so tired that I would just go to sleep. I remember I was, um, I remember one time I was waiting for um, my medications at the pharmacy and I, I just closed my eyes and I fell back and I even fell off the chair. I was, and I was like, what the heck? Like, Not what's the wrong medications. with me? So it just, I was so happy that he explained everything to me and just everything that was happening to me just made a lot of more sense. All my, and all my questions were answered. But then after that, he was like, um, you're going to have to get a blood transfusion. They were like, because of the sickle cell anemia and i was like bro oh, okay and that's whenever i started bro oh my god i'm just oh my god <laughs> getting you know like a little bit more scared and i was like what is this like i never got a blood transfusion before blah, blah, blah. but he was telling me that it was really beneficial and that i needed it so i was like okay but um when i was at home with my mom i started doing like more research and more videos and more of this and that and yeah more research for this damn video to lie to your audience by Mona, dude. I started overthinking. I was like, oh my God, I was like, what are my kids are gonna have this? And then I was like, I'm not gonna be able to film for so long. And I was like, I'm not gonna be active. Like I just started overthinking. I'm a Libra, Libras overthink so much shit. So with me being like super stressed out about the situation and me overthinking, um, I just remember I was going like this, like playing with my hair. And I remember I went like that and I was like, and I saw some hair and I was like, oh my God. And my hair was falling out because of how stressed I was being. I was just being so hard on myself. Another lie. I, and I bet remember that's I started a lie. crying. I was like, <gasps> and then that's when it happened. And I had like an, a full blown on anxiety attack. Thank God my mom had my medication. Um, I usually know how to control them now, but that day I just, I don't know what happened. I just, I lost it. And I remember I, I was so, I don't know what happened. I just started pulling my hair out and like hitting myself and. It was just really bad. My mom was freaking out. Alex was freaking out. And she was like, stop, come down, come down. And then she gave me my... Listen, y'all. The fact that the mom also went up in a YouTube video and lied about this whole sickle cell situation with Daisy is insane. Yes, because if you're brand new, Daisy came out with a video with her mom saying they Daisy had sickle cell, okay? And if I find it, we're going to react to it as well, okay? But that... Wow, the mom tiene la culpa también, like, pff, bro, 
as a parent, you don't you don't do that. You don't let your child lie about something big like this. Anxiety medication, and I just I just remember I, I went to sleep and I knocked out and I woke up and I was like, ah. so I was stressing out about everything, and just like I was gonna be missing work, I was gonna be missing all these meetings and events and. It was just a lot, you guys, okay? I'm pretty sure you guys get the point by now. So then the blood transfusion thing comes. I get it done. It, was, it wasn't it was anything, like, drastic where they, like, sleep me or anything, you know? She got nothing Just stay then. there. They, they do the blood transfusion, and I was done. But I was feeling a little bit weak that day, and then they were like, you need to eat this, you need to eat that. So then after the blood transfusion, my mom's just here to take care of me, to cook for me. It's just stuff like that. She was just being a really huge support, so with <laughs> Alex. <laughs> and yeah, so that's pretty much what's happened oh. in the past two weeks. I am feeling way better now. I don't feel sluggish anymore, which I am so happy about because that blood transfusion really did make a huge difference. Damn. Um, I am taking my B12. I am taking my iron supplements. I am taking good care of myself now. Um, I don't drink Coke at all anymore. I okay. All right. Cody. <laughs> I cut off all type of soda and caffeine and all that stuff from my diet. I don't eat uh, junk food anymore. Uh, that just like really scared <laughs> me because I would always be eating junk food and just eating so unhealthy and that was also- Bro, your fingers are tainted red. <laughs> just kidding, no. I'm just referenced to Hot Cheetos, but no. You know you're lying, bro, what? <laughs> affecting my body. So now it's 2018, we gotta stay hydrated, we gotta take care of ourselves. So that's oh, what I am doing now. I just wanted to let you guys know what has been going on the past two weeks. Obviously you guys are like my family, so I feel the need to tell you guys. Plus I didn't just want to tweet saying like, I have sickle cell anemia. And then all you guys go ape shit. You're like, oh my God, what is this? Does she have something deadly? No, so I felt like I just wanted to. Yeah, you literally don't. You literally don't. Sit on here. So that is it for this video. I hope that answered a lot of y'all's questions and as to why I was in my A and all that stuff. Thank you to those who understood, even without me giving you a reason. Um, it means a lot. But yeah, that's it for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys have any uh, video suggestions down below, definitely let me know. I will take those into consideration and I will see you guys until next time. Bye. Wow. Wow, listen, I don't even want to say I'm shocked because we know the truth now, but like, bro, I'm a little shocked she went that far to make up this big old story about how she had sickle cell. Even, you know, she said, oh, when I was smaller, blah, blah, blah. I, something about her hands or feet. Oh, she has a nerve, the nerve to come out and even say, yeah, I saw the, the little kid with sickle cell and I, it broke me down. Bro, and it's crazy the fact that people are still defending defending this influencer. Influencer. What are you influencing? Lies? To become a big-ass liar like you? No, my miss. Okay? But like I mentioned, guys, uh, there is another video on the internet with her and her mom. If I find it, I will I, I will be reacting to it. Uh, but as of right now, I just found this one. I, I just don't know what to say. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below, guys. And if you're new here, please consider liking the video, subscribing, and turning on those bells. That way you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.